day of work right there. But it's just missing that finishing touch, man. Ah. Bruh. I gotta review this. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Red Nerd Aviation. Hope you guys are on a fantastic day today. And today we have a awesome unboxing for you guys of a huge aircraft. So hope you guys are excited for today's video. If you guys are, please consider liking the video, subscribing to the channel, and turning on the notification bell so you guys never miss any content to come. Got an epic deal on a Gemini 200 wide body. This thing is absolutely huge, man. Uh, just for retrospect, well, actually, never mind. Let's not spoil the surprise quite yet, even though you guys already know what it is. Huge box here. I actually bought this from um, a guy that I've talked to on Instagram before. I'll put his uh, username right here. Great guy. Uh, nice to do business with. Uh, fantastic deal on this aircraft. Got it for about 100 yeah, I think about $100 on the dot. Crazy. Uh, so what a deal I got from him. I think he's got some other stuff here, so definitely go contact him on Instagram. But here we go with the box. So let's get to unboxing this beast, man. This thing is huge. Let's go. Okay. There we go. Very well taped. Now initially I saw it on uh, face or a Facebook selling group. Uh, but then I was on eBay as well, so I just ended up going with buying his eBay listing of it. And let's go from the middle here. There we go. Satisfying tape right there, man. Okay. Here we go, boys. Let's get right side up for you guys. Make sure we're centered somewhat. <laughs> Huge box, man. Big time. Let's go, baby. Wow. Okay. I'm just gonna do it like this. Wow, that thing is huge, man. I can't believe that, man. There she goes. All right. Oh, oh, oh yes. We have the Gemini 200 American Airlines Boeing 777-300ER. First impression, the box is ginormous. <laughs> that is crazy. You got the Gemini 200 logo, you got the American Airlines titles, you got the 777-300ER across here, uh, Boeing 777-300ER. Item number is G2AAL685. What a deal I got on this, man. Side of the box, it's pretty uh, gosh darn tall as well on the sides. That is crazy. This thing is huge. Very heavy. It's like at least probably four or five pounds, maybe more. Here's the back, it was a 2017 release. I thought it was earlier than that, but I'm expecting a really good model here for 2017, so. I was packing the box away and completely forgot to say that there is a pamphlet, which is super cool, so you can pause that to read if you wish. And there is the plastic insert. What a beauty, man. Uh, never just got a Gemini 200 wide body box, so instead of the pin, you have the little flap bill here. So we are going to attempt to get this thing out. There we go. Uh, there we go. Here we go. Oh, oh. I'm gonna have to stand up for this, boys. We in frame? There we go. Shimmy, ah, man. Wow. Bro. <laughs> oh my god, that thing is huge, man. Oh my god, that thing is huge. Look at that, boys. Wow. Oh my god. That thing is... Wow, oh, dude. My god. That is epic, man. That is epic. Where's the nose? Will. There it is. Okay. And then we got the stand, the good stand, already assembled. So, it's even better than the MD-80 stands. Wow, I'm in shock, guys, I'm sorry. That is crazy. Wow, it's huge. Put the landing gear on first and foremost. Oh, baby, wow. Oh my god. First impression, this thing is ginormous. This thing doesn't even compare, wow. 
Okay, we are gonna attempt to review how awesome this is. First thing uh, in the box besides the stand, you also have these little pin things. Not sure what those are for, and then you have the gear up configuration. But we have the gear down configuration because we have to show off this detail, man. Let's go, let's get started. Okay, so here's a little closer frame of the aircraft. Wow. Wow. Just for you guys that can, uh, can relate, <laughs> could only imagine a 1 to 100 scale of this beast. Let's get started. Cockpit windows, an awesome design here in the front. You have the landing gear, which obviously does come out in the 777. Nice and magnet. <clears throat> nice and magnetic, it works very well. Just a little loose, so the wheel will kind of do its own thing half the time. And then you got the landing gear here, which looks fantastic. L1 door is looking sharp, man. I can't even describe how huge that is. It's bigger than my fingernail. That just, oh my gosh. This thing is gorgeous, man. Whoa, boy, as Jim United 13 would say. Oh boy, baby. Look at that thing. Then you got the American Airlines titles. Uh, you got the beacon here looking nice. I'm not sure if that's the color it's actually supposed to be, but we had the gray Wi-Fi box. I would assume so because on the, uh, uh, I think it's like a 2016 release, triple two, three, and one to 400. Uh, it's that tannish color as well. But oh boy, baby, wow. Look at the American titles. That just shows it off, man. Why have I not started buying one to 200s only, man? This is, ugh, man, oh baby, as I would say. Or as Gemini 13 would say, rather. Those American titles are, oh my God, man. I can't even start with how sweet this thing is. Um, and then, um, let's see here. Can I get a little better view under here? Let me show you guys the underside kind of. Okay, sorry, I immediately changed my mind because we're definitely doing an underbelly on this baby. But one thing I noticed right there is a small antenna that is dope, baby. Oh my God. But what's really cool, look at those GE 90s, baby. Oh boy, baby. Look at that nose, baby. Is that not scaring you guys a little? Man, oh my, my gosh, man, I'm sorry. Look at those GE 90s, baby. Look at that wing, man. That wing's freaking huge. So nice, look at how big those babies are. Oh my God. They can't even describe how nice this thing is. Oh my God, oh baby, whoa. I can't even start on this thing, guys. Look at that, look at that detail, man. Look at the emer Overwing exits. That puts the one to four hundred to shame, man. That's I am comparable. They had the black line, the third door right here, man. Oh baby, look at these wheels pivoting and everything. Now the uh, the model I have one to four hundred also does that, but still, man, just so nice to see it on such a big plane. Uh, interesting here to see that little gap, but it doesn't really bother me. Look at that wing, baby. Oh my goodness, woo, man. Look at that. I am. This thing is impressive. Then you got the fourth door back here. You got a Wi-Fi box that is not represented of some sort, and you have two antennas right there. This is also November 719 Alpha November, the same one as my 1 to 400. So I need to get uh, some newer ones as well. But oh, baby, look at that tail, boys. Oh, yes, wow. I'm sorry, guys, I can't even give a reaction. This thing is incredible, man. I just keep getting awesome models, and this is just a prime example. Look at that thing, dude. Oh, my gosh. Wow, the flagship, man, this is gonna look so good on my desk. Look at that, baby. oh yes, look at that thing. Oh my gosh, man. Look at that APU, look at that APU, boys. Then you got the horizontal stabilizers looking sharp. The colors on this thing, man, they're freaking perfect, man. Oh yes. The other side is very similar, obviously. You got your cargo door here. It looks like it's a little more tilted up on this side, interestingly enough. Look at those G90s, oh yes, baby, look at that. Look at that detail, man. Look at that. Look at the detail, man. That thing is crazy. Oh, baby. Wow. Look at that thing, dude. Of course, this thing, first and foremost, is heavy as crap. I must be careful with it. Oh, baby. I can't even do it with one hand. This thing's so heavy. This thing's huge. Here's the underside. You have the gear. Here's what it looks like inside, if you're curious. It's the magnet, of course. And then you got the bottoms here, the GE 90s. You get the landing gear looking sharp. Again, magnetic as well. You can just pull out and put in. Uh, for this video's sake, I will not do the up configuration. Uh, here's the stand hole. It does not have that little plastic thing around it. And uh, it kind of goes in real nice and firm, kind of. It's very different. And then it has that, uh, I don't know if you guys can see right there, but uh, the little notch for some reason. You got Gemini jets here on the bottom. This is a, gym, a really good Gemini jet. Uh, really good detail here on the under the under antenna, as you guys can see those red lines. And you have that uh, 
uh, antenna rather. Here's the one in the front, I kind of forgot to go over right there. And then the beacon down there as well, the red marks. Wow, look at that tail, boys. This thing's so heavy, man. I'm not even gonna get started on comparing this thing to the 1 to 400, man. God, wow. That's about all you need to know right there. The 1 to 200 on the back, obviously, and the 1 to 400 in front. 1 to 400 is a great model, and let's see if this works or not. Okay, so the stand hole on wide bodies is different. That is good to know. And there's also on the stand a little notch thing where they has the notch in there. So I'm not sure if that's a more firm fit or what that is. Once again, here's the uh, landing gear up configuration and whatever these two little notches or sticks things are for. What a beauty. Oh, yes. I can't even describe how huge this thing is, guys. This thing is ginormous. Man, this thing's gonna look really good on my desk. I can't even fit it on the shelf, it's so big, guys. I mean, this thing is absolutely ridiculous. Accuracy-wise, it looks very, very good, and I have absolutely no complaints with this baby. I am so happy I got this for such a good deal. Thank you so much, um, Aviation uh, 37, for making this uh, model possible. Uh, definitely go get Gemini 200 wide bodies, guys. I know it's a ton of money, but my goodness, they are beautiful. Something to remember, it's gonna be an icon of anybody's collection to have anything in a, uh, any wide body in Gemini 200. Um, this thing's incredible, the detail, it looks so good. IRL, I cannot describe how much I love this model. And you guys are gonna love it too. Highly recommend, the detail's on point, color's fantastic, the GE 90s, the fan blades in there. Let's just get a closer look at the fan blades, man. It's so impressive. Look at those. Look beautiful, obviously they don't. Wow, they do spin, let me try. Look at that, that is sweet, dude. That is so cool, man. So they do spin, man. Let's look at the back, just in case they wanted to throw in some extra detail under the aircraft. Oh my God, it's so heavy, sorry guys. Looks really nice, just nothing to obviously note exactly. Uh, man, it's so heavy, I can't even do it with my left hand. My non-dominant hand, it's so heavy. It's like five pounds at least. Guys, I'm telling you, if you don't have this one or any wide body one 200, I highly recommend it. I'm so glad I have one. It is freaking huge. I mean, this thing, once you'll get it, you'll realize how incredible it is. And there's still a color difference between the one to 400, one to 200, but I could care less. Look at these fan blades, man. Um, amazing model, comment what you think, and definitely go get one if you haven't already. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Consider liking, subscribing, and turning on the notification bell so you guys never miss out on any content to come. Don't forget to go join the Discord so you don't miss out on exclusive news about everything going on, and we talk a lot of aviation, and it's just really beneficial to be in there, so I hope you guys enjoyed that. But besides that, guys, I hope you enjoyed the review. This thing is incredible, and I highly recommend it for anybody's collection, especially if you're a big American Airlines guy like myself. Absolutely incredible model, and you will not be disappointed to get such a awesome model uh, to this caliber uh, by the one and only Gemini 200. I mean, this thing is amazing, and you're not gonna regret buying it. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys very much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time as Redditor Aviation is signing off.